are few things more synonymous with our great state than the iconic cowboy. For years, he's been depicted almost identically in films and literature. Weathered, yet handsome. Rugged, yet polite. Wise, yet nine years old. What's your favorite thing to do out here on the ranch? Probably work cows and ride horses and help my dad do all the work here and fix fence. You fix fence too? Yes, sir. You're nine. I've been fixing the fence since I was, I can't remember. A long time? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> You heard it right. This little lone ranger goes by the name Bo Tackett. And while he might be the state's smallest ranch hand, when it comes to being a cowboy, he's got a heart the size of Texas. We met Bo just outside of his bunkhouse where he hangs his hat and kicks off his boots. That is when he's not responsible for moving cattle and running the feed route. Now a lot of Kids your age would be out playing football, baseball, but you prefer to be out here on the ranch. Why? I just really like being out here and being able to ride a horse and being able to work cows and be able to work on the ranch. Isn't that a lot of responsibility? Yes, ma'am. It sure is. But you wouldn't trade this for the world, would you? No. Bo is homeschooled here at the family ranch, 15 miles outside of Fairfield. Today we're going to talk about bovine respiratory disease. His father, Jason, makes sure Bo stays on top of his math and reading, but the class that makes him stand up in his stirrups is Farm and Ranch. It's clear he's taken to the cowboy way of life, and from the classroom to the farmstead, He's sticking right by his dad's side. Bo is special. Bo loves the cowboy heritage. He loves ranching. And uh, he's my little right hand man uh, as far as uh, we do a lot of jobs and stuff together. And, and he's just, he, he just loves this way of life. Much what we're doing is we herd all the cattle up and get them in the cow lots. First off, work the cows and run them down the snake, and they'll get on them and give them a black leg over eating red water and what and tetanus, malignant edema, all of those. It's pretty obvious when it comes to the cattle business. Bo knows. Like any kid, once the sun goes down and the schoolwork is done, he's got time to kill. But instead of breaking out the video games, he'd rather spend time in his bunkhouse, creating bull whips and bracelets through a technique called plating. I'm just trying to inspire people, you know, other kids my age, they're, they're always inside, you know, on a device or something, and I'm trying to inspire them to get off of a device and try to make stuff. At the ripe age of nine, Bo's got nothing but green pastures in front of him. From the day he was born, his heroes have always been cowboys, and still are it seems. And while the music and movies certainly played a big part in his childhood dream, there will always be one cowboy that stands out from the rest. Who are some of the people that have inspired you to do what you do? Look up to Red Steagall a lot. I love George Strait and Willie Nelson, and I look up to my dad a lot. I just like being with my parents and getting to spend time with them, getting to work with them. Who are the people that Bo admires that he wants to be like? Definitely people that ranch. Tom Morehouse, Bob Morehouse, Red Stegall, 
How would it make you feel if I told you that he told us that one of those people was you? <laughs> That's awesome. Really makes me proud. Are you a cowboy? I'm a cowboy. Through and through. Through and through. I love that story. Me too, and we've got plenty more where that came from. Just click on the subscribe button and keep traveling with us.